Hello, my c c c Capricorns, it's Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign, the final earth sign of the zodiac cycle in the 10th out of 12, okay? If your birthday is between December 22nd and January 19th, you are the sign of Capricorn, very much self-controlled, very much ambitious, disciplined, high-achieving energy yes i love y'all so much thank you for being here shout out to all my capricornic supporters i just made that word up all right bear with me bear with me all right i think somebody really needs to like bear with themselves or like bear with someone else in their life i feel um that's why that song just came to my mind it ain't for nothing but you know like be easy with yourself like bear with me like do do your best like just you know hold it out hold it out Stick it out, thug it out, like you're almost there. Like there's progress being made, all right? Jumping into this reading, starting off with a significant number. All right, y'all. Let's see. We got the number six. I love this number. If your birthday is January 6th, shout out to you, the number six. Very much prominent. This is an even number. Very much pleasant. Why is it not clearing up? All right, hopefully. It's clear enough right there, right? But yeah, so this is about somebody's healing. I feel like you're definitely doing a 360 period in terms of your health. Um, things are coming around full circle. It's giving the energy of reciprocation as well, too, when I see this. Good fortune. You are being supported. Mm -hmm. Rewards. This is a very rewarding energy. I feel like, yeah, improvement. Things paying off. You know, it feels good to make improvement. I feel like you're definitely making progress here in terms of your finances, your health, you grounding yourself and connecting with nature or healing your heart. Because this is definitely heart chakra energy. When you see that green, know that it's about your heart, right? Also, this green could represent, you know, a bit of envy too, like, you know, jealousy. I was thinking about like the deadly sins, you know, but, um, yeah, this number six, the month of June could be very significant, important. Wow, we got the death card. All right, and we got patience coming up in reverse. So this is about you allowing that impatience to pass, like, bye. Okay, it's done. It's time to release it. There's something that needs to be released at this time. If you have not let go of that impatient aspect of you, the, the, per, the version of, of you that's always trying to rush something or just not trusting the divine order... Yeah, Spirit is saying, listen, this is done. Something died, right? Something died. Something ended. Something came to an end. And I feel like you want to hurry up and get over it. But you got to you gotta release it. <laughs> like, yeah, there's something that needs to be released here. But there's a, a, a major potential for improvement, like I was saying. I feel like you're coming back to life, too, in a sense, as well, as you release whatever this ending was that you're still holding on to. But we got freedom. Wow. See, you're freeing yourself. Hey, moving towards freedom. Yes, this came to an end so that you can be free. Something ended and you set yourself free. Like you either ended a relationship, you were dead, like you deaded it. Like you deaded a connection with someone, a friendship, something here came to an end, but you feel a sense of freedom, right? Also know that if you have lost a loved one or if there's some sort of death that you are holding on to from the past, know that this person is free know that their soul their spirit is free and back fully integrated with spirit and love and the universe as a whole the the whole back with source right also if it's not about a physical death for some of y'all this is um about you just literally freeing yourself from what's dead in your life like something that's just not giving you life anymore yeah i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness right and thinking about death or thinking about an ending is n typically not something that makes you happy right right we always we, you're happier when you're thinking about the new beginning right so i feel like that's what's happening now at this point in time <laughs> you're just thinking about the the new beginning ready for the new beginning and you're moving towards freedom with this energy wow we got surrender so yeah that was extra confirmation spirit wants you to surrender um stop fighting the process of death here because it's inevitable right so when we lose someone um yes of course you're going to feel it but if you're still holding on to something from like six years ago um even six months ago like you know what i'm saying like you got to start to be you got to start 
the sooner you can how about this because we can't rush your process or tell you how to do things and that's not encouraging for anybody so what i would say is that if there's some sort of death that you're holding on to just do your best to be more understanding of the fact that this is a process that we all go through and things must come to an end so stop fighting the ending here like just release it now, some of y'all did surrender. Or even if you did not surrender and let it go completely, um, you're realizing the importance of it now. Wow. And, and yo, patience came back out again in reverse. Wow. So things will pick up for you. I feel like you won't have to be so patient to overcome this thing or to move forward to your new beginning as soon as you surrender the past once you let the past go things are going to pick up for you very fast like but right now um since this surrender since you're not surrendering it seems like things are just taking long like oh my god i just feel like time is lagging but it's like also I feel like for some of y'all, it feels like time is moving so mother freaking fast. You feel like things need to be moving faster for you. Like time is going by. Like I said, for some of y'all, it's been six years. It's been six months since this ending for some of y'all. And it's like, you just like, why am I not over this yet? Like, what the free regret? Yeah, see? And then that's the thing. You're regretting the fact that you're not over it yet. But look, your mind is very important at this time. Free your mind is what spirit is saying. Be mindful of what it is that you have going on in your imagination, Capricorn, right? You can't regret. Listen, you can regret the past, but it doesn't serve you. I know that I cannot change the past, right? So it doesn't serve you to regret something that you can't change or to even be having this type of energy living in your mind because it's unhealthy for you and it's blocking your creativity. It's blocking your vision for a better future. It's blocking your ability to see freedom in the moment. Wow. Okay. I'm hearing free mind by Tim's. I really need, I really need time now. I really need, I need a free mind now. Yes, like you need that free mind, baby. Free your mind. Honesty, be honest with yourself. The truth is being revealed. There's something that you feel like you're lacking though. Honestly, you gotta be honest with yourself. And I feel like um, you're not lacking anything. It's just the illusion of, you know, something being gone out of your life. like. Of course, if you're used to having something and you no longer have it at the moment, you feel like, you know, there's no abundance or you're you're focusing on lack in some way, shape or form. This card says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. All right. Be honest with yourself about how abundant of a being you are and how um, abundant life is. Right. And that means even when you when something comes to an end or when we physically transition out of our bodies, we move on to new life. We move on to more life, right? So when you focus on the abundance factor, then you don't strip yourself of your connection to source by thinking lack because there's nothing that source lacks, period. And when you focus on lack, you separate yourself from source because that's not what source is. That's the illusion. The illusion is lack, y'all. And we got to free ourselves from this lack-filled illusion thinking that we don't have um what it takes or we can't create our own happiness in the moment yes you can you totally can you most definitely most certainly can that's why you were brought here <clears throat> but yeah honesty is coming out something is being revealed too i feel like the truth is setting you free here with this honesty card somebody was thinking about um overthinking a situation right there was something that you had running through your mind non-stop um, but I feel like whatever it was, was holding you back and it was kind of like making you feel at times like lifeless, but this, you're being set free now. The, uh, the truth is going to set you free. And listen, the truth can be painful. Like me saying this right now, what I'm saying about death, right. And transition, physical, um, transition to the spiritual realm that's a hard truth right that we have to ex accept literally this is on this is as honest as it gets right so instead of lying to yourself about um you know whatever like even if it's just the, the belief in your mind that we are all supposed to stay here forever like or even saying that you're not over something i mean saying that you're over something that you're quite not over right 
Be honest with yourself. Be true. Set yourself free. We got a personal issue reaches a resolution. Full moon in Cancer. You could have been dealing with can a Cancer. This could have been the ending of a connection that you had with a Cancer. Because with this full moon, that's a very intense energy. It's like, yo, you spent some time thinking about this. And now it's really just time to release. Whatever this was, it was a lot of energy poured into this situation here and now you just got to surrender and release and a personal issue is reaching its resolution things are resolving right you're able to start new because after the full moon comes the new moon cycle again so you know it's like releasing and letting go and if it takes you some time to do so do so balance spirituality and practicality so yeah right right now it's really important that you remain balanced spiritually and physically that's what i see you doing at this time and if you aren't spirit is definitely saying you know this is being patient that impatience might be why there's a need for you to balance yourself spiritually and practically because spirit doesn't rush god does not rush god aligns right it's about alignment whatever you are aligned with is what you receive so if you're aligned with moving forward to your new beginning then that's what you're doing if you're aligned with uh accepting the truth of life right which is about advancement moving forward endings and beginnings literally life is all about that your day begins with the sun and you rise and getting out of your bed and it ends with you going to sleep closing your eyes back into the darkness back not into the darkness in a scary way but like into the spiritual realm that's where we dream right that's where our dreams happen that's where our dreams come true from spirit so check your spirit make sure you allow your spirit to revive by uh stop fighting the current right fighting the current is just draining your spirit period so we got Oh, adjustments are required. Yeah, there's a need for some adjustments to be required. Um, this is about you just kind of like, you might not realize it, but um, now you do. <laughs> and you're making adjustments. You're going to make adjustments. If you don't, you will. You may regret it. That's why that regret card is showing up. But yeah, if you don't make these uh, adjustments, yeah, it's going to lead to further regret, which is going to be filling your mind with toxicity. So it's like, yeah, no, thank you. Um, don't let pride get in your way, though. So if there's somebody that you need to apologize to, then make sure you do that because the adjustments are required. Energy is showing that there could be something that you want to say to somebody, right? Or there's something that you need to confess or I don't know, there's something there about your pride getting in the way of you making these changes also it's like put your ego aside and tap into your soul because your ego is the part of you that can feel hurt like um it's that part of you that thinks lack it's that part of you that is able to separate from your soul connection or that creates a divide between it so that you know you can differentiate so that you have the variance of emotions. Now, let's get deep for a minute. The reason we have different emotions and why we feel high and low sometimes is because of an energetic variance, right? So when you are heavily in your ego, you are easily separated from source, your connection, your heightened connection. Your connection is very limited, scarce, or um, blurred, divided, right? Split. Split energy is what I'm, what I'm hearing. So it's like, get your energy in alignment by just being, you know, aligning your ego because the ego is a part of you that can be fine-tuned so that you can match the energy of your soul, right? Because your soul is going to always there, be there consistently vibrating at a certain frequency and at the highest optimal frequency. And it's up to us to align with it. It's up to us to align our egos with our soul, we got your loved ones are safe. So, yo, honestly, you and the people that you love, the people that love you, the people that are supposed to be in your life at this time, y'all are safe. Y'all are good. Y'all are pr protected. But, you know, it's time to release negativity, right? So whoever's in your life, once again, that's creating negativity in your life, even if it's loved ones, you got to... um. You know, you're going to have to make that decision, that exact decision. Like, is this person bringing negativity to my life? Do I feel bad about this person? Because you're starting fresh, right? The new people that you're moving on with in life, I feel like 
um, they give you a peace of mind. They're going to give you a peace of mind. They, this, this is you feeling free, positive and free, right? So yeah, you and your loved ones are safe. So if you have been worried about that, like if you've been running thoughts around in your head that, you know, you and your loved ones weren't safe or that, um, If you've been just focusing on death, like thinking that, oh, who's going to die next, right? Like, no, uh, uh, you and your loved ones are safe. Like, get those thoughts out of your mind. You and your loved ones are safe. This is also a message from the spiritual realm saying this is your ancestors tapping in and letting you know here that you, your loved ones are safe. Like, we are safe. We're good. We're good. So you don't need to be holding this negativity, holding on to this negativity. Release it, baby, so that more love can come into your life so that you can level up and energetically in terms of intimacy with life again like loving life again how are you gonna love life again if you're holding on to the negativity of life or thinking about life from a negative perspective you know or sleeping on your creative abilities because your imagination is a superpower you being whatever whatever it is that you put in your mind's eye is what you are manifesting it's very important that you have a free mind a clear mind a mind that that cultivates a sense of freedom a nourished mind, a healthy mind. Yo, and then we got, you are very close to your goal. You are very close to achieving your goal, period. And that's why, why? Because the truth is setting you free and you're moving on. You're reaching your goal, which is to overcome this challenge, this, this phase in your life. Right, be honest with yourself. You've come a long way. You put in work. Look, your hard work is paying off. Now, I see this here, Capricorn, new moon in Capricorn. This is you. You need to expect powerful change, right? There's something that is changing. This is a new moon eclipse too, y'all. We about to go through one of those in a few days. Is it a few days? It's coming soon. But whenever you see this video is when you see it, all right? It was for you. But this card is like showing that your hard work is paying off. You just don't see it. You might not feel that way. There's something about you needing to be honest, really honest with yourself about what's going on here, right? Or what it is that you need to do. Because another reason why this card could be showing up in reverse is because there could be um, a need for you to put in that work. Like, that work in order for it to pay off. Like, in order for it to pay off, you got to put in the work. Okay. All right. Well, let's pull some tarot now for my lovely Capricorns. Love, love. Capricorns. Surrender. What? Surrender. How can we help with this surrender? We got, oh, almost, oh, anxiously stressed out way. Yeah, the nine of swords. This is that mental turmoil. This is you staying up at night, maybe even having nightmares. This is your mind locked in on worry. This is what you're surrendering at this time. Um, When your mind starts running crazy like that, say, for example, you start thinking really wild thoughts or like worrying or stressing about your life situation. Do get up out of bed and do some jumping jacks. Literally do like four or five push-ups. Do something that's going to put your focus elsewhere. Also, someone may be needing to really listen to some meditation music here. Those hurts, those frequencies on YouTube or um, sound baths or getting a meditation app here. Or maybe consulting a therapist. Someone that can help you um navigate through these thinking patterns here the nine of swords because i feel like you're being really cruel to yourself or cruel cruel in the mind there's just some sort of mental cruelty taking place like you either beating up on yourself or beating yourself up by thinking about a specific situation that's creating worry for your anxiety but look, the page of swords is at in the bottom of the deck too. So this is definitely telling me there's something about you needing to be more on point mentally and like monitoring your thinking, not being immature minded. Yeah. Mm hmm. What else we got? Like, you know, it's about mentally maturing. So you got to do what you have to do to improve your mental faculties. You can't just let it run wild and think that, um, Anybody's going to come and save you. You got to save yourself here. Um, and that's the truth. It's just about also the page of swords is about being more true to yourself. 
We got the moon. Yo, the moon is coming out here. The moon. Something is happening behind the scenes. Something is happening that you can't physically see with your own eyes here with the moon. Because I just think of darkness. It's just kind of like when you, it's something that you can't quite see with your physical eye right now that's taking place. So spare the saying, listen to your intuition about things, right? The moon is also the ruler of our emotions. Capricorn. I feel like at nighttime is when you get like, I don't know, you get stressed out or anxious most during the nighttime because we got the four swords. It's a restful, solitude way. It's kind of like you have a hard time getting rest. That's what I'm picking up on. It's something about uh, subconscious emotions. So be patient with yourself, please, because this is not something that uh, you want to rush, the more you try to rush it, because that's that could be causing you anxiety too. It's like trying to rush yourself to overcome this without really doing the work. What else we got here for my Capricorns? We got the Empress energy. Wow. So, mm, somebody could have turned down an engagement with this ring showing up. Yep, somebody is definitely a single lady, but I feel like you're impressive when it comes to how you look to other candidates. Like somebody want to marry you. Somebody is definitely going to desire to marry you, but you might have to let go like of an old marriage or old past lover here. This is about you being abundant, right? You being very creation cre creative, not very creation, but being very creative and action oriented. <laughs> <laughs> taking action to uh, create the life that you actually want to live. Also, I'm hearing you're a diamond in the rough. Yeah. Make sure that you're nurturing yourself too. This Empress energy is a very nurturing energy. And then we got the overflowing emotions cup. Yo. So there's definitely a new potential relationship on the line here with the Ace of Cups. This always is like an outpouring of love. I feel like this is about you marrying being married to the game of surrendering and setting yourself free, right? Being married to um, yourself and loving yourself, right? Loving yourself enough to do what it is you need to do to improve your thinking patterns or to release what needs to be released. This is a new commitment too for some of y'all, but it's going to require adjustments. I feel like there's something that is requiring you to shift shift a bit in order to receive this ring or this um hold on hold on y'all thank you for your patience um fertility wow okay so yeah somebody could be uh stuck on like you know a miscarry i'm here for some of y'all but it's like this is a new opportunity for you to try again right so yeah definitely heavy on the nurturing energy it's more so you nurturing yourself here with this uh nurturing yourself through this phase we ain't gonna reach we're not going to reach right now. So we got the hermit. Wow. Ideas. I told y'all. Eureka. I told y'all about them ideas coming through. Your imagination is very important, right? It's kind of like um, going into this hermit mode, really separating from the uh, chaotic world, from all the distractions so that you could really introspect and do some deep discovery is going to like bring, uh, it's going like a light switch is going to come on. It's like, because right now the lights are on, but nobody's home. That's what I heard from Ayala the first time. It's like the lights are on, but nobody's home. But I feel like for some of y'all, this light, this this perspective here is going to set you free. It's kind of like when you're in the dark, right? Especially in the dark of the moon. Y'all got three major arcana cards showing up to back to back. Just to let y'all know, this is major. This is major, okay? The moon here, this is major change too and improvement. Because look with this hermit card, it's like you're coming back brighter than ever. 
And I feel like you were going through a very dark phase, especially with the moon showing up here. The moon is just like nighttime. It's very dark. It's like a dark phase of our lives that is inevitable. Like we have to encounter the moon. We have to encounter our subconscious emotions and the things that, um, you know, kind of affect us on a, a deep emotional level. Like you can't run away from it forever. You got to be committed to handling it, dealing with it and um, shining light on it. To set yourself free. Wow, we got the Queen of Swords, supporter of truth and protection. See, look at this. This is mental elevation for you. This is mental step like leveling up. Like you're leveling up with by the truth. I told you the Queen of Swords. Somebody's coming in and being really honest with you about something. Somebody is spitting some sort of truth to your ears that's gonna help you um stay elevated and protect yourself mentally from those toxic thought patterns. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is very much on point. A fun, loving, witty individual. Somebody who is <laughs> going to tell you how it is. They are really going to tell you how it is because they love you. They want to protect you, right? This is how you got to embody the energy within yourself too, Capricorn. That's how you should feel about yourself. Like, I love me so much that I'm going to make sure that I support and protect myself. I hope this wasn't blurry the whole time, y'all. Wow, okay. Um, I think it was. Yo, my thing don't want to focus right now. Are we going through a retrograde? I think so, because the um technology is acting a little crazy. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Like, Anyways, supporter of truth and protection is what's showing up with the Queen of Swords. That's what it's saying. Like, It's like you're supporting yourself. You're supporting yourself. The truth is supporting you, keeping you up, holding you up. You being in alignment with the, the truth is the best way to support yourself and protect yourself, right? Because living a lie is not going to help you move in the way that you want to. Not at all. We got grief, sorrow, way. Grief and sorrow, way. Come on now. Why is the camera doing that? But grief and sorrow, way, y'all. The three of swords, yeah. There's a heartache, a pain, um, something in your heart going on here where you just feel like, you wish you would have not taken something for granted or you're sorry for something that you might have did. Or you just feeling some sort of way about how somebody else treated you or the, or a loss of something because grief, too, is definitely giving me lo the loss of a loved one by feeling sorry for not um, doing more with them or whatever the case may be in your particular case. But it's fair to say you're very close to achieving your goal, right? And the only way you're going to be doing that is through truth. You're also being very protected at this point in time. But I'm going to end this reading here, y'all, because, yeah, it's blurry and I'm a little, I'm, I, I think I'm done. I think I said all I need to say. If you did resonate, make sure you don't hesitate to click that thumbs up and comment below in the comment section if there's anything that you want to share or if you just want to express some gratitude. Just know that I love you so much and what matters most is your attitude, all right? Peace, love, and prosperity.